So, a few things. So, this is a tiny portion of Toy Tinker Simulator. In this version, you will be able to repair 10 toys. In this version, you will be able to visit your toy museum, but you will not have enough toys to open your museum. Your feedback will make the full game great. Please wish list the full version of the game. I have already wish listed this. So just to reiterate that the following game that we're going to be playing is a beta. So just so you know, because <laughs> that happened. So, just so you know, the following live stream footage of Toy Tinker Simulator is either an alpha version, beta version, early access, or demo of the game. Again, this is a beta version. Therefore, the footage you see may or may not be featured in the final version of the game. Also, there may be some noticeable bugs in the game. So, let's go ahead and now get started now that we have that disclaimer there. Okay, seems like it music might be a little low. We'll see. If the music is a little low, I will adjust. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go play. I managed to play a little bit of this offline. And so it's kind of like your, your um, standard simulation game here. Um, you want to go here. I already, um, in the indie game moment that I did, I re was repaired a little toy train. So we are going to repair this toy now. So I'm going to buy that. I need detergent and I need a sponge. So we go back. I need... Sponge, buy, and detergent, buy, we clear that, exit that out, now go to our workbench, I'm trying to remember because I did play this, but we have to repair three toys, okay. Accept. Okay. Open the equipment list. I have to use the cleaning table, okay. Yep, we're gonna pull the toy apart. And like I said, I did play this off stream. And I thought it was pretty cool because I do like simulation games. Okay, so now we're going to go to the sink. Put that in the sink, sink, and sink. Now we're going to go to the cleaning sink. I'm trying to remember. There we go. Okay, I, I had to remember how to do it. <laughs> Can I turn that off? I mean, no, why are we just letting water run? Oh, that's driving me nuts. Oh, okay, because we have other toys we have to clean. Okay, because I was like, why is the water just running? If 
we use detergent. I didn't see us pour any detergent on this. Do that. 50%. Alright, and then we're gonna click back over here. We're gonna put the toy together. Nailed it. And then we can take a picture of it. Snap it with our snazzy, you know, phone there. And that is what it looks like. I think when it does that, because this is beta, so I will talk about some of the things. But what I think they should do when it does that little bit is they should cut off the actual music in the game and just play that and then turn the music back on. So I'll go back to the laptop. Okay, require painted materials, varnish. And we need a sanding block and a painter. So go to market, varnish that, buy that, sanding block, buy that, and a printer, thought that said in a painter, but it says in a printer, got it. Okay, clear all of that, go back to the project, accept, okay. Let me back out of this. Go back to the workbench. It says I still have a project. Can't remember. Oh, active project. There we go. So deliver that one. Okay. I was like, I couldn't remember how to de uh, deliver it. Okay, so now we can accept this one. So we're gonna go to the sanding block. What? Where's the printer? Ah. Where did our toy go that we were working on? Oh. Okay. Ah, there it is. I was like, where did our toy go? Then take it to the printer. Come over here. back on the workbench. Alright, done. That was a fast one to do. I'm gonna take a picture of it. See, because the two musics clash, so if they stopped the music from the game for play and just let that little bit played and then start up the music again, that would be cool. Um, go to the laptop, project, act of project, deliver. All right. We need a sponge, detergent, varnish, and then the cleaner we already have. 
the printer and the sandy block. We already have all of those. Okay, so go to the market. Buy a sponge. Buy detergent. And then go here and buy varnish. We didn't buy it. Buy it. What's this? Okay, so I got an objective. And then we got all that, so clear that. Go back now and accept the project. Ew, that's dirty. Like the music in this though. Music's really nice. But this is too one of those games because it's a simulating, like simulation type game. Send all the parts to where they need to go. Boop. Alright. Okay, so we need to do that. We're gonna do the cleaning table stuff first. Turn on the water. Send that to the printer. Send that to the printer. We're gonna do the sand block now. I don't know why, but this re like this reminds me of the show. There's a show that's on Netflix that Dan and I were watching. Um, I can't remember if something restore, but they would take vintage things and restore them, and that's what this kind of reminds me of. All right, so now let us go here to the printer and print. Send that there. Print. Nice. That's cute. And then the repair shop. Thank you, huh? But yeah, that's what this game kind of reminds me of. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, that would be interesting to play. Because I, you know, I like simulation games. And so I was like, yeah, because I'm actually torn because Castle Flipper just came out and um, Power Wash Simulator also just came out. So I know next month is going to be the Steam sale. And so I'm kind of like lost on which simulator I want to get. Because I, I, I would love both of them, ironically. I would love to play both. But I have to kind of pick out... Um, yeah, the Power Wash Sim is actually pretty fun. Like, I really liked the demo of that one. And so we finish our toy. And then we're gonna take a picture. And then we get to kind of look at it. But that, like I said, that's my only one thing with this. When it does the little victory thing, it should stop the in game music just to play that fanfare there. Active project, deliver. Um, I think that was four, because we can only. We can only repair five. No, ten. We can only do ten. We did three. The first one was three. I'm gonna go ahead and just play it out. Since we only get to, like, clean up ten toys. So I already have the required equipment. And then I need to get varnish. Market, paint materials, varnish, buy, back... Go back to the project that I want. Accept. For 
over and click on that. Oops. <laughs> I clicked out of the screen. But the Power Wash Sim game is actually really fun. Like, I was watching um, their community manager playing on their uh, Twitch. And it's actually a lot of fun. And it's very relaxing. Send it all over to the sanding table. We're going to sand all of this down. Send that to varnish. And again, we are currently playing Toy Tinker Simulator. And this one is available on PC and it is free to play. At least the beta is. Um, so it does kind of give you a sense of what the game will be about. Of course, because this is beta, the devs are looking, you know, for feedback and stuff like that. And like I said, so far, um, my only critique would be, like I said, the music when after you finish a project, the little fanfare kind of starts up, but the in-game music is still playing. So again, if they turn that off, I would like to see that. But to me, this is very relaxing and it plays kind of like other Sim games too, so. Nailed it. And I'm starting to get faster at uh, completing the task. <laughs> also, another thing too with this um, section here, I would like it that if you could actually kind of like turn, and maybe you can and I'll try it on the next toy, but maybe you could turn your angle. Maybe you could turn the angle so you can get a different like picture of the toy. So then go to project, go to active project, and then deliver. Another thing, too, that I would like with this is being able to take multiple projects. That would be kind of cool, too, because I think you can only take one at a time. So it would be cool to be able to... Okay, so buy the original parts. I need a screwdriver size 3. Okay. We need dark red paint orange, black, and then we already have the required um, equipment. So go back. Oh, we haven't bought the stuff. <laughs> um, screwdriver. We need a Phillips head and we need a size three. I mean, I don't know what, like, why would I, well, because I got the money, I guess. Because I got the money, why not? We'll buy the expensive Phillips head. And then go to paint. We need dark red. Orange. And black. Bye. I think we got all of our materials. Go to the project, grab it, accept it. And we gotta take these apart. Another thing too, if it's already telling me to pull the toy apart, I would like for me to just still be able to pull the toy apart. That's something else I would like. Cause, oh, it looks like it does. I don't know, some of the other ones seem like it didn't. Like you had to keep clicking on it. See, like, Oh, I gotta take this off the screwdriver. Okay. 
Okay, send all of these over to the... We're gonna paint these. It's not safe. <laughs> I don't think this is really safe. Send that over there to the printer. Workbench. I'm pretty sure that's not safe. Like, they should make this part more realistic and make it to where the painting table is kind of outside. Because when you use, like, spray paint, you have to be in a well-ventilated area. So, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I hate to be nitpicky, but it would be nice if that was in an open area. Nice. Then send that back over to the workbench. Go here. There. Nice. Yeah, and like I said, that's the only thing that gets me with this is the background or the music for the game and that music clashes um deliver that we have four more toys to go and then after that we'll take our break I, m I figure I might as well go ahead and just finish it out there there's only 10 toys you can do right now cleaner go here turn it on so they'll get clean but I've already added this one to my uh, wish list as well so wait why did that one come here and not go to the printer all right we'll go to the printer We gotta get the decals. You know, actually, back in the day when I worked for, um, you know, Apple UK, and I had the funds, I used to get those old Coleco um, miniature arcades, and then I would actually refurbish them. And, um, like, I would go and buy the decals and stuff and clean them up and then put the new decals on them. And it was kind of a hobby of mine for a while. And that's, I think that's why I kind of like this game. Because it reminds me of when I used to do that. Here, project, active project, deliver. Because, like I said, we only have three toys left. I might as well finish it out. <laughs> Just go ahead and finish it all out. We probably need a sponge and detergent. And we already got the other equipment, so we're just going to go buy a sponge and detergent. Actually, go to project. Can I just like buy all of my stuff at one time? I need a screwdriver size 2 Green paint and varnish I'm gonna just see if I can buy all this stuff at once so that way uh, Require two ooh, screwdriver zero one and a wrench and then we need red paint Red paint, 
turquoise spray and black all right so let's go to the market we need a screwdriver Phillips head size 2 so I'm gonna just buy that now um, what else we needed a screwdriver size 1 size 0 and 1 size 0 by size 1 by um, did we not buy this Or is it not going to let us buy it? Okay. Doesn't look like it's going to let us buy it. Um, so get the green spray. Buy. And varnish. Buy. Go back. So see, that's if they're not going to let you take multiple projects then I would like for them to at least allow for you to buy multiples of the stuff that you need. Or if you want to buy all of the, um, If you wanted to buy all of the materials you need for the projects, that would be cool. If you can't get multiple projects, then that would be cool. first send that to the printer oh wow okay then there we go here here to the printer print our decals nice send that back to the workstation all right so we're gonna take a photo it made us buy that screwdriver, but we didn't even use it. We already got all the tools we needed and thank you for that follow player one I appreciate you for following of course everyone is player one in my channel so feel free to keep lurking if you are lurking just know you are player one and we are going to go ahead and set the pro you know set the uh, project here We're gonna pull that off, right? And then turn there. Oh. Pull that one off. I was gonna say, I'm thinking we're gonna have to use a tool for this one. Alright, so we're gonna send that there. Ah, okay. 
Okay, <laughs> and welcome, Guild RPG? Or is it Good RPG? This is telling us to sand block it. Okay. Well, welcome on in. It's not gonna let me do this part because I apparently. Not do this right. Apparently, I didn't send the hat over <laughs> and the little guy over, so. So let's do that now. But yeah, we are currently uh, just playing a little bit of Toy Tinker Simulator. And this is the beta version of the game. And it is available for free on PC for Steam. Um,. At any time during the stream, if you use exclamation point GOTW, that's going to bring up a list of all the games I'm playing tonight and for tomorrow night as well. Or you could click on the link there. And what that link does is it gives you a list of, again, all the games that I am playing, where you can find those games, what platforms, and if there is a price, how much they cost. These aren't coming very clean. And so I will, uh, like I said, we had this toy and I think one more other toy to do. And then after that, we're going to take a break. I like that we're restoring these toys. It's really nice. Oh, we're gonna head over to the printer now, apparently. Oh. Alright, so head over to the printer. We're gonna put our little decals on our little guy here. Aw. Okay, that, 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 and then that should finish that toy. And then we have one more toy after this. And then we will take our break. And we're going to take about a 10 minute break. But I, like I said, I figure I might as well, it, since it's not that long of a, you know, beta for this, I figured I might as well go ahead and just you know, do all of the toys. And then this just pretty much tells us the achievements we have made. So we're gonna now get the stuff for this project. And then this is going to, okay, I need, ah, that's why I couldn't buy it because they were Phillips heads. Okay, size zero, not Phillips heads, but they were flathead screwdrivers. That makes a lot of sense. Bye. I need a wrench, size one. Then we need red, turquoise, and black. Red, turquoise, and black. And then, I think that was all we needed. Did I not get the right wrench? Or did I not buy it? Maybe I didn't buy it. I 
Is that not a size one? Okay, got it. Then go back. We can clear this. We're gonna take our last toy, work on this, check out the museum, since we can't open it, but we're still gonna check it out. Send that there. Send that there, 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 and there. And we are going to be using the printer as well, apparently. Go here. Clean these. Okay. Send all of that back. We are going to send all of those over to our paint desk. Go here. We're going to paint that. Nice. Send that. Probably turquoise as well, I'm assuming. That's going to the printer because it's going to get, um, decals. Nice. Nice little car. Send that on over. Print our next set of decals. Put that there. Nice. Send that over, wrap around, go to the desk. Nice. So we've done all the toys. Um, and it says we can check out the museum, but we don't have enough to open it. So we'll look at and see what the little museum does. And then that'll be the end of this uh, play for this. So let us go to the laptop. We are going to deliver this. Right, so we can't open that, but we can go to the museum just to see what it has in it. Okay, so. And then you can kind of look at the museum. So you have to have 12 toys to open up the museum. All right. But I think that is going to be the end of Toy Tinker. And overall, a really, really fun and interesting simulator game. I enjoyed it because I like simulator games. So I do enjoy this one as well. Um, again, if you like what you saw of Toy Tinker Simulator, again, this was the beta version. But if you like what you saw of that, you can play this for free yourself. Um, if you click on the link there. Um, it will take you to a page that will give you the link to the game. And this one is available on PC. And it is free to play for the beta. So, And then, of course, as always, if you like what you've seen of the game, go ahead and wishlist the full version of the game so that you can be notified when it comes out. 
as I tell everyone who enjoys my streams that when in doubt if there's any games that you see that I've played and you like them but you just can't purchase them right now wishlist them wishlisting a game helps the developers a lot it can help their game be seen in others recommendations if they get so many wish lists or a lot of wish lists, they can end up on the first, like the front page of Steam and things like that. So, when in doubt, wish list it out. 